Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. It is Sunday the 28th of winter. Uh, we got cranberry candy as our dish, uh, which means it is the last day of winter. So we will be ending the winter season very soon. Apple guy, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Well, Gus, you're lucky that I actually knew this was coming. And actually, when I said the e end of winter, that reminded me. Someone has something. Yeah, salmon dinner. Uh, where, where, what is it? I hit something around the uh, 12 o'clock noon sharp, last day of the season, check the bush above the playground. We're going to take care of that today, for sure. So we have a couple of things to do. Alright, so let's, um, we're going to buy goats today. That's one thing we're doing. We also have uh, the albacore to give, something done to the museum, and Leah's sculpture. So Leah made me this sculpture in a cutscene. I'll go ahead and show it off now. Uh, basically, she was just like, this is her statue, how I feel about Apple Guy. And uh, as such, that is what the uh, the item is called. Okay, I'm actually very nervous as far as um, making sure I'm at 12 o'clock noon on time. I think... Oh, I have an Iridium quality egg. That's pretty good. I think for safety's sake, I'm going to actually look up exactly which bush I'm supposed to check in. I don't know what I'm getting, but I do know that I want it. So I will get it. This is our large barn. I think we showed this off at the uh, the previous video as well. Um, but we're going to deal with uh, all the cows here. There's also going to be goats, and the goats are for goat milk and something else. Goat cheese. That's it. Both of those things are necessary for bundles. I think we might be able to make a quick run down to buy the goats now and still make it to the playground for uh, 12 o'clock sharp. Definitely should. Um, this is the last day of the season, as I said, so next episode we're going to be kicking off uh, planting and all that lovely stuff. We have got fruit trees. I think they might be ready. They might be ready or they might be just not ready. They'll be ready soon, no matter what. Anyway, yeah, we got about four hours. They're getting pretty large, our fruit trees. So, yes, I think we will have... Uh, just the goldenest of opportunities. Let's go ahead and make a quick run down here low. And uh, I'll have to come up with some goat names. We're going to have to name the goats. Probably buy three goats. Three goats, three uh, cows. Should be plenty. As far as uh, a starter kit for these guys. Okay, I haven't really thought about goat names at all. Open 9am. Okay, I'll chill for a little bit. We know we're going to have to bring Gus his fish. Gus works at... Where is Gus normally? If I was Gus, where would I be? Is like the question. I guess he doesn't exist. Okay. Well, I'll just wait for this to uh, kick open then. Should be any second now. I could fish. I don't really feel like fishing. Ten minutes. I'm, really, I'm just going to catch it early. We'll buy the goats. And then we'll be off to do our tasks for the day. Perfect. Purchase animals. Goat. He goes in there. Now I have to name the goat. Not Chilla for sure. Okay, this is definitely going to need some explanation. But I'm buying three goats. Okay. Goat is something people say all the time for greatest of all time. And um, I am a big Jeopardy fan. And as such, I will be naming each of my goats. Oh. They can only... Okay. This one will just be James H. Perfect. First goat has been purchased. I'm naming them after the Jeopardy greatest of all time uh, competitors from th that tournament they had. So James Holzhauer. This one will be Ken Jennings or just Ken J. Oh my gosh. I keep pressing X instead of um, freaking Y. Ken J. Okay. Ken Jennings gets sent off. All right. And lastly, we have the third goat. This one then will be Brad Rudder. Brad. Uh, sp space R. Okay. This is a very throwaway joke. Awesome. Okay. 
Perfect. So we just spent uh, 12,000 on cows. Or goats. It was goats. I don't need to feed the goats, I don't think. They come pre-fed. But for the uh, spring of year two, we will need to start uh, feeding the, the goats. Gus? Where does Gus work? I think Gus might be from the star drop soon. We'll, we'll hunt Gus down after this. I just, I really want to get this item donated. And then I'm really, really concerned about my um, appointment at 12. So I want to make sure I'm there. Gus's family almond. I need two dozen eggs. I can take care of that. A hundred pieces of bone would have been way too difficult. Yeah, two dozen eggs is easy. I get three eggs a day. So I will have two dozen in three, six, nine, twelve, eight days. That's actually not a lot. We'll, we'll be fine. Or we won't. It'll be whatever. Okay, perfect. So there's Gunther. Yeah, Gus apparently needs the A. What is this yelling at me about? Gus famous omelette. 24 eggs. Place the eggs. Oh, 24? Yeah. 3, 6, 9, 12. And I have 8 days. I should be fine. Just on the last day, I should be able to make it. Just barely. Okay. Where's Gus's fridge? Seriously, where does Gus live? Emily and Haley, Mayor's Manor, Blacksmith, George, Evelyn, Alex, Pierre, no, Community Center. I'm convinced Gus does not have a home. Gus does not have a home. No way, he does not. I think, as I said, I think Gus runs the saloon, but I could be wrong. Please get out of the way, old man. I need to go stand outside the playground for a couple of hours. Uh, probably need a scorpion carp. I'm not gonna be able to help you with that, Abigail, but I will accept it just in case a scorpion carp comes my way. Okay, so here we are. The playground is right here, and then the bush is this one uh, right here. And I will just... I could do other things, but I think I'm just gonna stand here for a handful of hours, and um, I'll probably just cut the footage and we'll reappear when we are uh, ready. I don't know how precise this is, so I'm literally just spamming the A button. And hopefully right when it turns to 12, I will actually have pressed it. Huzzah! The Junimo plush! You received a Junimo plush. Sounds like that was the item we were meant to get. So, check that one off the list. We took care of that. If we had missed it, we would have just had to wait for the end of spring of year 2. Uh, but that's that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and visit the saloon now. I'm, I, I think Gus is the guy in the saloon. He is. Okay. So I guess he lives in the saloon. This is what you wanted, Gus. What's that? Something smells like an alicor. Ah, you brought it. Thanks a million. Yeah, no problem. How much money did you give me for that? 400? That's a little uh, on the lower end, Gus, but whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and get moving then. We can go back up here to the uh, farm, and we can think about what else we want to do as far as prep for the farm goes. We have our, our three goats. We have the greatest of all time Jeopardy players. Who are also on the chase, in case you guys wanted to know. I think I like this place for the statue. It's kind of out of place, but it's like a centerpiece almost. Okay, come on, give me all these items, please. Thank you. Very, very good. And I'm going to put this in here, sell those away. Junimo plush. Oh, Junimo plush can go outside. It's kind of an apple, honestly. Can I pick this up? How do I pick this up? I have to hit it, right? Can this go right here? I think... Well, I, this obviously... I need this back. I might put this one right here. Give me that back. How do you... I swear there's a button you can just use to pick it up right away. Whatever. Anyway. And I'll put that there. Yeah, I like that. I like the, the Junimo there. It's like a little apple. That's nice. Let's go check on the goats, by the way. Actually, speaking of the goats, we should fence in the pen now. I know we had removed the pen uh, temporarily. Uh, people, the viewers, wished that I would let the dog out, uh, and, and so I did. The dog did have his time in the sun, but uh, it's going to be real season again, and we're going to need our animals to not escape, so I will be refencing this in. Here we are. Okay. I think that's all that's necessary. Yeah, I don't think they can escape anymore, so I'll, I'll leave that there. Alright, fingers crossed they don't escape. That would be a little tragic if they did. Um, but, like, I guess they would find their way back. Another thing we can prep for is we're going to need more cheese machines. So that is wood, stone, hardwood, copper. 
So wood, stone, hardwood. I love how I just grabbed none of the things that I said. Okay, perfect. Let's make three more cheese machines uh, because we're going to have three more sources of cheese once the goats start producing. So we're going to take this time to get that set up for the next season now. Okay, come on, Regis. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, what is this? I forget what this even is. A charcoal kiln. Don't think I use this very often, but I will leave it. Um, it's like a fiery thing. So can I chop this down? I can't. No. I'll, I'll literally just leave it right there. Okay. And there's nothing else in the go box we needed, right? Yeah, the light string. Can we put the light string in the barn? <laughs> I honestly, I'd rather just give it to the goats and stuff. I don't really need it in my place. It's a bit much. Uh, look, it's our goats. James Holzhauer is curious, but a little cautious. Ken Jennings and Brad Rudder. Must be placed on a wall. Must be placed on a wall. Okay, it's, yeah, it's got to be uh, inside, apparently. Which is a little unfortunate. I literally have no room for this, so I will just put it in one of the permanent chests, and we can uh, just not worry about it. I'll toss it in this one here. This is like my special items chest, I guess. And actually, let's take out our watering can as well. I don't suspect we're going to need it. I'm going to make another uh, chest as well. Actually, probably a couple chests. Um, I'll do two of them for now. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to... I'm going to move a chest right here. And this one, I want to put the things we occasionally need. I want to put... Actually, no, we do need to carry the hoe with us because that's what we use for um, the... What, are they, what was it? What did we say it? Me? I don't remember. That's what we use for worms. That's what it is. And then I want to put the fertilizer down here as well. That's good. Um, I mostly fish in one place in the game. So actually in prep for setting up or in theme with setting up and prepping for, for things. Um, I definitely want to put uh, a chest on the beach where I fish most. Um, and I'm, I'm going to store my fishing rod in there. I know technically I can use my fishing rod uh, in the mines or in the river or whatever, but I don't really need to do that anymore. When I fish, it's for making money. And, um, you know, previously I was doing it for bundles and whatnot. And, and for that, it's, it's necessary to have easy access to it, but I don't really think I need that easy access anymore. And, uh, as such, I will be, what are we doing with hearts? We haven't given gifts to anybody. Um, anyway, as far as, as me not needing it, I think that just leaving it on the beach where I use it the most would be the best. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put it right here, uh, just on the dock. I think I can put it here. If not, um, I can. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so I will store the fishing rod in there, and then I'll move this around in my inventory. So there we go. Maybe now when I'm in the mines and I'm fighting for my life, I won't have to cycle through so many dang items. Uh, it would be nice. I'm going to grab this Nautilus shell. Actually, I think that's a little bit of a rarer um, item, as far as that goes. So we took care of the Juno plush, that's good. Took care of the albacore. By the way, I knew the albacore was coming, and that's why I had fished for one previously in the season. Um, actually, I did some off-camera work, I don't even think I mentioned that. Imagine not mentioning that I did off-camera work. I did, though, I did off-camera work, and um, one of those things was catching an albacore. So we could have lots of cash. There you go, Leah, exactly what you wanted. Alrighty, and I will buy this as well. Get out of the way, Harvey. I have a penny to deliver gifts to- Pam! Move. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Annoying. This is for you. This looks special. It is special, Penny. I don't even think I can raise her hearts anymore unless I put a bouquet of flowers on it, so... Not really worth my time, but I'll continue to do it. Haley, hello. Here you are. What's Haley's hearts looking like? She's almost all the way up, too. Everyone goes for Leah. Everyone goes for Leah. Let me see her liked items, favorite items. Okay. Haley likes ice cream. That's good. You loved sandfish? I did not even know Penny liked sandfish. Why would she like sandfish? That's a weird thing, Penny. Uh, okay. Well, I can't think of anything else I would need to do here in the winter season. It is literally, when we wake up tomorrow in Stardew, it is going to be a brand new sunny day. It'll be spring. We'll get back to the spring music. I feel like winter took us a long time. Maybe that's just me, 
but I, I feel like winter was the longest season we had as far as like time spent. Uh, so, you know, as I said, maybe that is just me, but I would be uh, anxious to see what you guys thought as well. Thankfully, we have all these sprinklers set up. We're just gonna be able to hop right into uh, using these. I think I need, do I need more sprinklers though? I might need more sprinklers. I feel like I'm missing some in this row here. Oh, I'm 100% missing some. Whatever. I'll just plant around it. Plant around it, rather. It won't be too big of a deal. And then as we have plenty of uncut wilderness over here to the left, and we have this area up here ready. Let's go ahead and check bundles really quickly. Um, just see what we need left for those. So spring crops, we're going to have to grow parsnips, green beans, and potatoes. And also parsnips. Yeah, so parsnips for sure. Parsnips for sure. We're going to finish this up with the large goat milk. Or I believe we'll finish it with large goat milk. This is large milk, right? Yeah, okay. And then artisan bundle, we were able to do some work with the goat cheese as well. As well as all these fruits. I don't even remember what we planted, but we did plant some fruit trees. They are right uh, here in this row. Those should start producing at some point. Uh, anyway, I think that's going to be all for now and all for the winter season here of year one of Stardew Valley. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys have my videos around. We're heading off into the second year here on Stardew Valley, so some new things we'll gain, we'll, we'll get access to. And uh, I'm here for it, I'm stoked. I hope you guys are too. I'll catch you guys all back here next time for the next episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. Until then, as always... Take care.